Hey guys, welcome to another Pop Culture Overload video review. And it was one I'm very happy to bring you guys. It is the Transformers First Edition Optimus Prime. Yes, I finally got one. Oh, I love this guy so much. I purchased the uh, the Revealers or Robots in Disguise Optimus Prime. And it was okay. The weapons were kind of rubbish. But this guy here, this guy is Optimus Prime. Now, I will give... The Robots in Disguise version, one pass. It is a bit of truck mode. It is. Um, and you'll see in my other review why. The only thing about this, he's got this visible hinge right here. And the weapon's kind of store on the back. Just like the, the Robots in Disguise version. Would. It's just a really great truck mode. I like it. I, the, the robot mode far makes up for any shortcomings in the truck mode. But... Yeah, that's it. Really happy to get this guy. I got him from a Canada seller on eBay uh, for a decent price. Really like him. Let me show you this packaging here. And the, this, the packaging these guys came in. This clear packaging was so nice. I don't see why we couldn't have got this in the States. Yeah, I left the display stand in there. It's, it's a cardboard rock. You don't need to see that. And one thing I like to note, a lot of people keep saying, that this sword, this one right here, is backwards because of the way it's on his, the way it attaches to his arm. That's how that sword is. It's not backwards. Not sure why the blade is on top, but that's the way it is. It's not backwards. Moving on. So we get some just this really great packaging. I really like this clear, uh, translucent plastic. You got a big. Autobot symbol there. This is just really great. Even the packaging on these first editions was awesome. But, hey. We're not talk, here to talk about packaging. We're here to talk about Prime. And I was just so pleased with this guy. Now, the weapons I had attached, he's got two holes here in the back, or the trailer hitch. And you can kind of put the sword in there and attach it. But, yeah, it kind of warps it a little bit on the end, but this sword is just such soft rubber plastic. There's no danger of anyone hurting themselves with this thing. Maybe maybe they could swallow it and hurt themselves. But the gun, however, oh, that is nice. A lot of detail on there. Looks like it stepped right off of the screen. And they have these recessed handles to make it look like he's his hands actually transform into the weapons. I kind of wish the color on this one had been done a little bit darker, but I'm not not complaining. Anyway, Prime's got a nice Autobot logo right there on the front. And translucent headlights and windshield. These stacks, they're made out of the same stuff that the sword is made out of, but that's good. You know, they won't break. They do dis... Uh, uh, I'm fumbling over my words. They do come off of the cab. Just, yeah, really great. There's a look at the back. If there's only a, If there was a trailer with this thing, it'd be just ten times better. But, let's move on to the transformation. First thing I want to do is take the top, flip it down. Eh, I guess I could have split the legs before that. Bring them down. Bring this back a little bit. Oh, this trailer hitch actually snaps over that part and plugs into there. So you actually got to unplug that before you split the legs. There you go. He's also got a fake trailer hitch right here. I'm not sure what that's for, but okay. bring these down, make the calves, unfold the feet. It does kind of have like a lot going on in the back here, but it really helps him to maintain his balance and get some really good poses out of it. This time you can go ahead and pull the Move my camera up a little bit. A little bit taller than the deluxes I'm used to reviewing. So bear with me here. <laughs> it's a walking truck. With a head. Alright. So uh, this part here. Well, this front comes off. You can fold these back. 
I seem to be doing something wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes I gotta do go ahead and get these out of the way. Just bring them up, close the hood. If you look in there, by the way, you've got a cab inside. I don't know if you're actually picking that up or maybe I can help to pick that up a little bit here. But yeah, you've got a cab inside of there. There's no reason to put that kind of detail in there, but yet they did, so gotta love it. Close these. Leave these down because you're going to take these, fold them to the back. All right. Bring these up and take the waist. Well, let's go ahead and take these arms off. And they just unfold. You can turn the waist now, give you enough clearance to get it out of there. Now, yeah. front of the windows come up, and there's a hole right here that goes, I'm sorry, there's a peg right here that goes into that hole in his wheel. Just put it back there. The one thing about these windows, you want to kind of get them the same. they will kind of pull on each other from different directions. There we go. A nice angle there. Still a little crooked, but... Alright, take the arms, pull them down. Or rotate them down. Give it a 180 turn. And fold down the fist. Bring this up. And the hood has these little slots in here going to these tabs. Why can't I get that? Okay, there we go. There's also a hinge right here. That's why I was kind of having some difficulty. So, try that again. Close it. And I've unpegged it again. Okay, but with all of that, I may have seemed a little rushed, but you've got one kick butt Optimus Prime here. Now, as far as screen accuracy, this guy has it in spades. Really love the look of this guy. Let me go ahead and get a look at that epic head sculpt right there. That screams Optimus Prime right there. I love the translucent windows. A lot of people don't like the fake windows coming up over the, the real windows. I'm okay with it. Got a lot of detail there. Just a really great representation of Optimus Prime. And for some reason, we were denied this in the States. I'm not sure. Gonna ask it. Gonna ask it, BotCon. Why we couldn't get this guy. Onto his weapons. Now, like I was saying, they're kind of recessed in the handle so that you can put them on. Because in the show, his weapons transform out of his forearms. So there you go. It looks just like... You know, you got a little peg coming down from there, but hey. That's a really good looking rifle. Now, a lot of people don't like the sword so much. I like the sword. I kind of wish I had been able to get two of these guys. Because I would have had them totally dual wielding. Yeah, it's kind of like an off color there, but I'm okay with that. But just look at this guy. He's got uh, got some articulation here, a little side to side action, some back and forth. It's a little hindered because of the just the shins the way they are. You get a knee joint. You got kind of a ball joint there. Yeah. a waist twist but it looks really awkward because it's because it's the waist twist is mostly there for the transformation but it just looks kind of funny uh, these flaps actually come up so you can kind of get his arms going out there he's got a swivel at the elbow one at the wrist and of course he's got a, got a shoulder joint there one thing about that shoulder joint if you kind of look at it here it looks normal here 
it looks a little down because they put the pin on the far end of the uh, shoulder joint but that's a minor nitpick and gripe head goes back and forth you can kinda get a little uh, A little ball joint action going there. It's probably in a ball joint. I don't know. I'm not taking it off to find out. But yeah. That is Transformers First Edition Optimus Prime. I was really happy to get one. Maybe I'll be able to get a bulkhead and review one. But I really want them just to add to my collection anyway. <laughs> there he is. The next video I'm going to get to the American version of this. So stay tuned. Hope to see you guys again. Please visit Pop Culture Overload. Follow me on Twitter. If you got any comments, suggestions, leave them, and I'll get back to them. After now, take care, guys. I'll see you later.